What's up, PD Nation? Uh, so we made it. Uh, we're at the Frio Rio cabins. Um, we're at the office right this minute that uh, we're trying to uh, check in here. But uh, yeah, so we're going to check in. We're going to get to our cabin and we're going to do some mental detecting like a mofo. Uh, and bring you some swimming and stuff too. So uh, we got our Jeep Patriot this year loaded down with stuff. And um, all right, so. Uh, I'll bring you to the cabin once we get there. <laughs> ah, I never pushed play. Now here's the hysterical marker. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> such history. All right, we finally made it to our humble Debo here. This is one of the Frio Rio cabins. Trailer you can rent. We haven't been here in a couple of years because last year we came to Gardner. We stayed at, we rented a house, not through them, through someone different. So, so yeah, it's nice. The oak trees have grown since we've been here. We got a picture of me and Shelby in those trees. So, uh, we're going to metal detect all this. They gave us permission. Um, and then if their other properties are open and there's not someone in the in the, the cabin They said we could metal detect those properties and one of those properties actually has a really old house on it So like old like maybe 1890s Early 1900s, so we're gonna check that out All right, I guess I should help uh, Get stuff out of the car. All right guys. We're in the beautiful West Texas leaky and Cancon A little place up there Lakey, whatever. We're going down to our first swimming hole. That's why we like this place because uh, when the Frio's really, really, really low, which they're in a burn ban right now, so they must be pretty low. Ooh, look, cutter ants. They cut all the tree leaves off. They're not carrying nothing right now, but you'll see them usually at night. That got to be a bird. Last year we were here, we had to park on the road and swim this. We weren't able, yeah, and there was wasps right here in this big tree. And there was a whole bunch of ducks. Scared off all the wildlife. Big old cedar trees, or cypress trees, I'm sorry, not cedar, cypress. So this is our private little beach. And this is our private little water. We can swim all this. It don't look deep, but it's about four or five foot deep right out there. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be good. We're going to metal detect all this too. I'd like to see how big that nest is under there. They're bringing in seeds for winter. All those seeds on the cutter ants. Coke tap. All right, guys, we're starting off our metal detecting adventure here in front of the porch. We always do. Uh, it's where most people congregate. It's where most people drink. We'll probably find a lot of these in a lot of beer cans, but you know, we'll venture out a little bit and see uh, where this takes us. All right. Oh, I didn't ground balance. I guarantee this has got to be a penny. A penny or a Coke tap? I see it. It's got aluminum on it. <laughs> there you go. Aluminum and aluminum wire. The old RC cable hookup. Now, I forgot to ground balance my machine. Ground balance. 
cool. Ground balance at 80, that's actually pretty good. Am I still recording? Yep. All right. Like I said, pop top. 79.80 pop tops. All right. Which we could block those out. You know that, right? We could block those. Perfect. 54 to 60. You're going to get them all day long. Am I recording? Yeah. All right. So this is right here on top. We don't have to go deep. A little rock pick. There we go. There it is. I got the first money. Did you? Yeah, I got a dime. Got a dime. What year? Can you tell? Yeah, got my first uh first penny. First stinking Lincoln, right at the bat. Let's see what year this is. Two thousand seven. All right. Every time. Every time, 54, 55, you know it's gonna be a pop top. Mine's under some rocks, so it could be a little bit better find. I'm on top of it now. What do we got? down a little deeper than it, it said it was. We'll keep going till we find it. We're close, right there somewhere.
This one's pretty deep. I don't want to break it. Last time we were here, I found a 30-30 shell, and I cut it in half. I'm prospecting here. Well, I get back to well, after all that long dig. It looks like a strap off a, almost like a, it's off a vehicle or something. It's just a metal strap, but I got it out. It's a brass gun shell. So I got me a 77 here, and it was a brass gun shell. Let's see what it is. It's a what? Penny. Holy crap. Ah, that is cool. This is a 44. This is a 44 caliber Remington Repeating Arms Company. And I'll tell you why it's old, because it has the WCF. The WCF was taken off after the 1940s and 50s. So this is actually a pretty old uh, shell out of a pistol. It's a 44 caliber. Hell yeah! It's got the WFC and the Repeating Arms Company logo. So that means that's when the, that's when the company first merged. This is probably another pull tab. Definitely now that I moved it, it was on top. Small jawbone of a baby deer or something. It's got its back molar. Oh, wow, that's tiny. Yeah, a little back of a jawbone, back molar. Where'd you go? There she is. I got another cracked up signal. It was better because it was folded. So it was, it was more dense. Huh? This stuff's fun to dig in, let me tell you. Got Nancy the annihilator detector here. Uh -huh. She annihilates the pull tabs. It was straight down, babe. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, right there.
Oh, I've seen it. Oh. Down a button. Yep. I found me button. Go. All right, guys. Thought I'd take a moment here to uh, just kind of walk you through what we're using here. So we got our headphones on because we're trying to be discreet. We don't want everybody in the building and around us to know uh, that we are uh, metal detecting. Just like to keep it discreet. But uh, so what I'm doing is I'm running Pro Zero mode. Discrimination 28, so that gets rid of pretty much all your your fine bob wire, small wire, nails, tacks, stuff like that, just rotten steel. Um, sensitivity, I'm running roughly uh, four from the bottom, or four from the top, uh, because this stuff is so dry. There's nothing, there's no minerals, there's nothing really that's in the way to, to bounce the signal back you have a false reading. So it actually ground balanced at 80. It, it's right now at 78. Uh, I re-ground balanced it a second ago when I got a little bit of a uh, harder soil. So 78, 80, it's ground balanced great. It's super quiet. It doesn't chatter. I took the sensitivity down. Uh, we ain't got nothing notched out. So we'll run in pro zero mode. It's a little scratchy on some things like you really got to use the pro mode to understand what's going on. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll find something. That's what I run my AT Pro in. Okay, so Nancy just found something that is freaking sweet. So we know during the Civil War, there was tons of inventory in Calvin. Calvin there's a whole bunch of people around here. There's soldiers everywhere. And uh, she just dug this up. I'm pretty sure it's off a hat. The blue hat's the Confederate War. Or it was off the, off the thing. It's for riflemen. Check this shit out. It came up as a 50 and it was about, no, about three inches. So if it's a 50, it's probably brass. We'll clean it up. I guarantee you this is probably off a lapel, but that's probably. I was thinking maybe that was a pin. Yep, that, that was across. too. And it usually was on their hats. So you might've found it like a real Civil War piece. Yay! Shh, tell nobody. <laughs> All right, guys, so we moved over here by this old stump where Nancy's been, she found those almost 100% sure that it's, it's a infantry, either Confederate or the Northern infantry uh, lapel button or hat button. And then probably four feet away, I found a button. It's the top of a button. It's old. It's got 12 American stars on it. I have to research it, but we might be sitting on uh, where a couple, unfortunately, maybe some Confederate or some Northerns, probably Confederate, seeing as we're in Texas, because uh, the Civil War, the Confederates were down this far, but I don't know if the Northerns came this far down the North, but anyways, we might be sitting on a pretty cool site here, so we'll research this stuff and bring it to you after we figure out what it is when we get back home. To the next find. Well, once we get used to the water, which is like 50 degrees, um, I'm going to use the Garrett All-Terrain Pro Pointer, which is 100% waterproof. Uh, of course, they've been known to leak, and you got to send them in and get them fixed, but knock on wood, let's hope it doesn't do that. And then uh, I'm just going to cheer around these little rocks and these pools and, you know, see if someone lost to happen, a, you know, a diamond ring or something. Um, nothing's gonna this is the wussy's way of saying she's getting in the water. She's swimming.
Is the dude or the other Two guys, Gardner, well, Leaky, Texas. We're going to town to get some stuff to go with our T bone steaks for dinner tonight. But uh, they were detecting and uh, more snorkeling. I could do that the rest of my life, just snorkel metal detect. But, uh, so, yeah, until then. Money. Let's see. What year is that? Down. Up here around this tree. See if you found something. Oh, sweet. Let's see what kind of bull that is. Looks like a 22, a 22 Hornet or a 1022 Hornet. That's cool. Well, it shouldn't go off unless you have the firing pin. So. Um, said it was eight inches down. <coughs> it clearly was. Now I got it loose. Let's get it out of there. Looks like a piece of metal bracket. Huh. It's got two catches on this side and that side. And a piece here you can tell. So maybe some type of door hardware or something.
something down there about six inches. We'll see what it is. Right there. Take it out together. Let's see what it is. see anything. Right there. Alright. I'll come back when I find Well, they say I always dig everything. So I did. But it was still foil but you never know that could have been a cannonball or musket ball or something came up as lead 86 87 on the machine she said it blows your ears out crazy on the AT Pro. It's like a good signal, crunchy signal. It's like, grr, grr, beep, grr, grr, beep, grr, grr, beep. I know it sounds weird, but that's what it sounds like. <laughs> In the pouch. So, I'm going to give you a little demonstration here. So, this is, this is Pro Zero, discrimination 28, sensitivity 3 from the top. Uh, iron audio off. You hear it. See how it's kind of making that crunchy... 28 to 30. Now turn the iron audio on. Hear it? Trash. Definitely trash. But you know what? We're going to dig it just to see what it is. So it should be right there at 3 inches. Come back to you when I get it out. So there you go. So it was running a 30, 28 to 31. We turned iron discrimination on. You could hear the crunchy, crackly sound grunt. And then it was picking up that twisted side. So see the denser the metal, the better the signal. So that's that 30, 31. And then you got the 28 out here. But see how long this was. It was picking it up out of this one hole. But uh, that's the kind of things you have to look out for. But always dig when you're out in old places because you never know. This could have been a gun, uh, rusted up gun, rusted up pocket knife. It could have been uh, bayonet, old bayonet, steel bayonet. So you never know. So always dig. Uh, unfortunately, this was just fencing. Now I'll show you a... Uh, a signal that well, it's loud, it like blows your ears off. It tells you the difference between trash. So, this one's shown to be a 79 at an inch down. See? So, it sounds good, like it blows your ears off. So, what I'm thinking, this is a bottle cap, a twist off beer glass bottle cap, because you have the good. The, the bad, the good, the bad. So you hear bump, eh, eh, bump, eh, eh, bump, eh, eh, bump, eh, eh. So that's good, bad, good, bad. So it's probably a bottle cap. Let's see how close that is. Could be a penny, too. Some crappy 2,000 pennies will do that to you, too. But normally it's a bottle cap. Right there. See? So, you get the bad, the good, the bad. So there's a lot of space. So it's cr it's bump, 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 bump. So that's how you know. And sure enough, Bud Light. So 79, 80, 81, depending on how, how good the aluminum is. And you'll have crunch, crunchy sound, good sound, crunchy sound. And that's what you know, bottle cap. So you can almost predict what's coming out of the ground. All right. 
Don't get near that. That's a big piece of that's a big fence over there. No, right there between the tree. This wire. Lots of wire. I think I got a penny wedged in the rock right there. Yep, it is. I'll see if I can get it out. It ended up being a stinking Lincoln, guys, right down in that bedrock. It was stuck in there like this, and the top was just worn off, but the bottom was still good. Can't get a date, though, but it's, it's a modern stinking Lincoln. It don't have a wheat symbol on it, so awesome. Pooling area and waterfall. Oh yeah, getting wet. Alright guys, our last day here, full day here, um, we're at Gardner State Park, can't do no metal detecting in the park because uh, it's against the law, I don't know what the law is in the river though, I was going to sneak in my Garrett carrot and keep it in my sleeve, but I don't want to go to jail and get a fine, so we left it at home. But uh, we'll be doing some more metal detecting when we get back before we leave. But this is our last full day, so we always come to the park. Uh, we always swim. It's beautiful right up there. It's beautiful, clear, 30 feet water. Um, and uh, I can snorkel this, so I'll be snorkeling up there by the dam and all that. And I'll bring that to you all when we, uh, when we get there. Walking on the bridge. Well, she said what I wanted to hear, big fishes. Here we go. Water so clear. See him in there? Oh wow, yeah. Big, Big sunfish. Guy. Look at the turtle. Oh, he's hiding down there. Yeah. Definitely, definitely gonna snorkel all this guys. Brought to you by. See, this is where we need to come, we just need to get in. There's a bass. Right there. Not very big, but it's a bass. 
I don't remember this being this deep in here. Huh. That's strange. I think it was there just moving a lot through here. No, because we walked through here. Remember? Huh? Who knows? There's probably one of the deepest parts of the river we've seen. It's been a long time since we've had it this clear. I hope y'all can see it. That's a good 30 feet deep out there in the middle. But they took our rope swing. This is where we normally swing on the rope, so we won't be rope swinging. That was the stump that we, dumped, we jumped off right there. Yeah, that's pretty damn deep. Yeah. This is where we always rope swing and stuff. That sucks. They even took our platform off our tree. We can't even jump off the stump anymore. This used to be the biggest rope swing they had. And they took it down. And just think, people climbed up that and jumped off. Yep, I'm just not one of those guys. I'm not one of those Navy SEAL badasses, I guess. I wouldn't do that if probably my life depended on it. I'd probably just go ahead and croak. in the water and uh, I got a whole I found a treasure trove of money in this one little uh, pool area it's like a pooling waterfall area and I cleaned the walls out and uh, all these quarters you see here are from the 60s 63 64s 66 66 so super old coins uh, everything on this pink tables everything we've, we've found throughout the weekend And then 
and uh, we have some good stuff in the house that uh, the really really good stuff that I'll show you in a minute some stuff that we think might be dating back to the Civil War maybe hopefully if not at least something cool